Hey everybody and welcome back to another Crooked Chicken video. Today's video is going to be over the long-awaited second teaser for Rick and Michonne series, uh, The Ones Who Live. Now, uh, it is not a full trailer, but we will take what we can get. This trailer was released today at the New York City Comic Con. It's, uh, from what I hear, it is a good trailer. I wanted to save it till I actually could uh, sit here and react to it with you guys. And uh, we'll do a little breakdown review afterwards. But without further ado, let's jump into this teaser and see what more they're going to give us. More red screen shit. I tried to get away. Please know I tried. Oh, we have some actual dialogue. I tried, but I failed. Just know. I love you. Well, okay, we got some actual Rick dialogue, but it was, of course, just flashes of scenes. But we got a release date. We got February of 2024. Now, this was a date that I heard a lot that this was the most likely that was going to happen. It was the most rumored release date, and, uh, it looks like it's going to be true. I did not watch any of the panel that they've done for The Walking Dead yet for New York, but I have heard a couple of things, and I'm going to dive into it here soon and see if it's actually true, but from everything that I heard that uh, Daryl himself, Norman Reedus, was going to be there for any uh, Daryl footage or anything like that as far as uh, maybe the second season is concerned. But also I heard that Ross Marquand was going to be there, who played Aaron, to kind of uh, further feed into the rumors of an Aaron spinoff that was in the works before everything with the strikes and all that happened. But as it is with a teaser, we are not really offered too much more information. We got uh, some dialogue with Rick, and then we got a few shots of Michonne, but I wanted to take a minute and dive into this and dissect it a little bit with what little information that we were given. But uh, jumping right into it, this first shot that I wanted to show was, uh, it looks like Rick coming out of Walker that's possibly on fire. And with the red lights in the background, this is probably a CRM controlled area. And uh, kind of moving on, it looks like Rick has been, as he says in the teaser, that he's been trying for a long time to get out of here. He's made probably more than one attempt to get away from CRM and get back home because, I mean, why wouldn't he? He would want to get back home to his kids and to Michonne, to everybody else within Alexandria. But he's just got this kind of uh, defeated look in his face. He's got blood on his face. So he, I, I could see him being kind of a walker clearing detail where in this next shot we got this, what looks like a burned up walker. And uh, I could see the CRM at first, utilizing his abilities to take down walkers and use his uh, smarts and skills that he's learned out there being in the open world and surviving it and using whatever abilities they can get out of him to help clear walkers, help keep parts of CRM safe, or maybe help clear uh, new areas to further expand the CRM. Because we see in a couple shots, aside from the burned out walker, where he just... He is full-on rage mode, clearing out these walkers, and we can see some people in the background. We can assume that those are more people probably on the detail or people that are responsible for guarding him while he's on the detail because who knows at this point if maybe this is after he's made multiple attempts to get out, so he probably has to have guard, or he probably has to have a guard detail to kind of keep him in line. And uh, here in this next shot, you know, he's laying on the ground, covered in blood once again. He's got a CRM jacket. It almost looks like maybe he has kind of a, a leather apron kind of thing going on uh, to help with his walker clearing duties. It's just not real clear what uh, his role is in the CRM yet. And then we see him with what looks like another phone of some sort with Michonne's face carved out into it. And then we get a couple shots of Michonne. Not really too much to do with her. This was kind of a Rick-focused teaser. Because we only hear him, as far as speaking is concerned, talking about how he's tried to get home, he loves them, and he promises that he did try. So, uh, just, yeah, a couple shots of Michonne here, nothing really. And then we get a release date of February 2024. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this was the most popular theory, the most popular rumor that I had heard as far as this show, when it was going to be released. A lot of people theorized maybe later in the year, but thank God we are getting this early next year. So just here in about four months, 
And we have something to look forward to. We're not going to be put on the back burner as fans and made to wait six to eight months. As they like to premiere a lot of these Walking Dead shows in the fall time. And aside from, you know, first parts of the series, I guess they did a lot of February time frame. But it's great that we actually have a release date. And even though we're still waiting on a full trailer, hopefully we will see one maybe in the next month or so because it's already been about mm, four months three months since the first teaser we got which was just complete lackluster all around there was nothing offered in that teaser and it, all it did was really anger people but uh great to see that we got a release date and i am totally stoked for the rick michonne series you know we keep hearing the rumor that it's a limited thing we're only getting it one season i just that is that's the part that's got me worried how are they going to wrap up all these years of storytelling with these two particularly large characters of the Walking Dead world in just six episodes. I mean, that seems to be pushing it, and hopefully they're not going to fuck around and have pointless episodes. Each episode, hopefully, is going to have a main purpose to serve the storyline, and hell, maybe we could even see Rick and Michonne spill off into the Daryl spinoff, because they're kind of teasing that, and I've done a video about that, so be sure to go check that out. But even though this one is supposed to be limited, maybe they will kind of let these characters live on through other spinoffs, kind of helping them pop up here and there to serve different parts of their story. But it's hard to tell at this point. I don't know how Andy Lincoln and Danae Guerrero are about continuing these characters. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed my reaction and kind of my little breakdown that I did. And uh, if you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you next time, guys. Bye.